stuff with the older generation. Oh, here we go. Okay, on the Sunday afternoon, uh, the 4th, uh, sorry, the 14th, we got a phone call from a uh, confidential informant who called in with uh, some information giving us a tip of a possible location of a uh, marijuana grow. Um, like on all the other tips we received, we sent uh, the narcotics officers out on Sunday afternoon. They went out, started doing a um, initial search, um, just kind of a hasty search, just kind of going through and just looking to see if there was any signs or anything that would lead us to believe or, or that would you know, be to find some marijuana. Um, actually it got dark on us pretty quick on Sunday afternoon so we ended up calling the search off uh, for safety reasons. Uh, on Monday morning on the 15th we went back out with a helicopter and was able to locate, the helicopter was able to locate uh, some marijuana. The, the first field. Uh, at that time, we stopped and, and secured the location, made, uh, got us a search warrant, called out the TDC dogs. We felt like there was some, may have been somebody in the fields when we first got there, so we uh, had the TDC dogs come out to make sure that, that we didn't have anybody either there on the fields or someone who had ran from the fields uh, immediately after we had, had uh, arrived. Um, and then this investigation just kind of started from there. And it rose from one field uh, spotted by the, the helicopter to uh, we ended up with a total of 10 fields. Uh, and after the eradication today, uh, we ended up with somewhere, I believe it was 21,540 uh, plants that were uh, recovered today. That were, that were um, their own location there, some of those sites. Uh, these suspects had uh, ran some clotheslines or, or metal wire uh, between trees and as, as they cut those plants they would hang them across those wires so that they would be able to dry and then in the, after the drying process is when they would take and chop them and pull them away from the stems and then get their product ready for, for uh, packaging and then delivery. There were a lot that were hanging that were close there were also a lot that we found that was uh, a substantial number that where they had laid tarps out in the sun in the open air and that were dry and basically were ready. Um, we found a lot of finished, what we would call a finished product that had actually been where well, the buds had been broke down, pulled away from the stems and were stacked and then the only thing left for that process for them to be was to be cut up, packaged and then ready for transport. Well, you know, when, when you start looking at that on the, the potency and, you know, it's going to be and I guess if it, I use this loosely, it, it was, you could tell this was a good, this was, you know, I guess you would say a good marijuana grow, uh, very strong in nature. Um, the, uh, the oil was very sticky and you could, it, you could smell it uh, from a good ways. Um, and like I say, they have a very elaborate uh, operation. These, uh, these guys go in and they set up an operation because it's, it's a lucrative operation. Um, and uh, they had taken painstaking, um, task and to be as covert as they could because uh, they had a pretty large operation going out there. We have been interviewing uh, those those persons uh, who owned uh, the property where the marijuana was located as well as the, the su subjects who owned the house when you first turn off of 942. Uh, we are interviewing them. Um, at this time we have not found anything that uh, leads us to believe that they're involved but again, we're, it's in the early stages of our investigation, so we are still, you know, communicating with them, and and they are cooperating at this time. Other than the fields, you know, the setups and and uh, the way the plants were set up, uh, other than there being some similarity at this time, we have not found a link. Um, and then we would not, we don't want to jump to conclusion. We would rather our evidence 
uh, lead us or let our evidence show that uh, there's a link between the two and not just uh, automatically just you know suspect that it is. We hadn't set down the paper and uh, put paper to pen right now and uh, got it broke down to an actual dollar amount. Uh, I don't believe this is going to be linked to locals. Um, it's you know a real still early in our investigation whether or not this is going to be cartel related or whether or not this is just going to be some subjects um, from another larger city or town that has come in and, and just taking advantage of the, of the opportunity uh, of, of this vast, you know, this somewhere close to 200 acres. So at this point right now, I mean, it's, I'm not going to rule out cartel involvement, involvement, but at this point we have not, we don't have enough evidence to say for sure that it is. You know, what I would ask for the citizens, and not just for Polk County, because this is not a, this is just not something that just sold or just loaned for Polk County. This is something that's going, that's happening all over the state of Texas. That we that we would say, especially to our folks here in Polk County, be cautious of your surroundings. Um, something that looks suspicious, call your local law enforcement. You start seeing persons, you know, in your area, especially on these these uh, large tracts of land that were there are normally deer leases or just timber company. You start seeing people moving around. You hear you're seeing lights and hear noises at night. You need to call local law enforcement. And then on top of that, be careful. If, if there is cartel involvement, and in this field, just like the other fields, we found uh, weapons. Um, so some of these folks are, uh, are dangerous, and then they will do whatever they have to do to elude capture. So I would say, just be careful. Uh, first and foremost, be aware of your surroundings. Call your local law enforcement so that we can come out. I, and I do believe that one of the reasons is that folks, the people are being more cautious, and they're being and, and our calling us and letting us know that, hey, we're seeing suspicious things. And all the calls that we've been receiving, we're going out on. Um, and, and I appreciate that because the one thing about this is, is just even though we're talking about marijuana, it's, it's a crime, just like any other crime that we investigate. Law enforcement can't be the sole cure or the sole handle for solving the crime. There has to be community involvement. It has to be a team effort. And I, for one, appreciate any assistance that I can get from the from the community. So, if you want to remain anonymous, don't worry about that. Call in, remain anonymous, pass the information along to our dispatchers. Uh, Sheriff Hammock has made a promise to the citizens of Polk County that he's going to do everything within his power to protect and keep them safe. So, if you'll just call and, and just help us out, we'll do it the, the best we can to be able to go out, not just on marijuana, but anything else that's going on inside the county of a criminal nature to get it solved. I think well, when you, when you we, I still go back to the statement I made earlier, this is just not a Polk County issue or a Polk County problem. I don't believe that uh, with just this, this last uh, recovery, uh, I don't believe that we've got everything that's in Polk County. Um, this is a large county, you know, one, uh, you know, a thousand square acres, you know, a thousand square miles, I'm sorry. So, no, I think it's going to continue, and the only way that we can combat it is that every time somebody shows up in Polk County with the idea that they're going to take advantage of our citizens and start planting marijuana, that somebody picks the phone up and somebody calls, and we're going to come out there. Uh, the next county, all I can say is, is that my job is, and the sheriff has put it up on us, that if we find it, we're going to push them out of Polk County. We're going to do everything that we can. So. Maybe the message you get to them that Polk County is not the place to plant your marijuana.